he's misunderstood yeah. Some say that he's up to no good Around the neighborhood But for your information A lot of my brothers got education Education, education Hello everybody, my name is Josh Clark. This is DeCynicism, D-E-S-I-N-I-C-I-S-M dot com. This is episode number 24. Uh, today we're going to take a little bit of a look at um, typical design practice again and uh, look at some more tools that we can use in order to get work done. Um, last time we looked at injection molding. Uh, today we're going to look at... Um, some tools that we might use for smaller scale operations. Um, rotational molding um, is usually used um, uh, to produce um, lower quantities but um, larger scale products. A typical uh, rotational mold uh, system uh, generally consists of three uh, parts, which is a cooling, a heating chamber, as well as a station to recharge um, material. Okay, this machine here is a Ferry Model 280 rotational molder. The way rotational molding works is you use a, the, the plastic is actually a powder. We weigh the thing out and we basically buck it into these hollow molds. They go into this big oven where the temperature is about 750 degrees and it rolls around on three axis and the plastic melts and it coats the inside of the mold basically via gravity. Then it goes into that chamber there which is a cooling chamber where they'll spray it with a fine mist of water and finally this is the loading and unloading station where they open the molds up, take the parts out, put the the powder plastic back in, close them up, and get ready for the oven. The cool thing about rotomold is a really great way to make hollow parts. And what we at SKB have gotten really good at is making uh, multiple piece molds that go together almost like a Chinese jigsaw puzzle. Uh, though uh, tooling is uh, a lot uh, more affordable using this sort of approach. Um, uh, cycle times are a lot longer than injection molding and the whole process in itself is a lot less efficient than um, injection molding. So this is probably uh, strictly for your, um, your smaller scale operations. Desinicism, a fusion of design and cynicism, is a philosophical position which questions the industrial agenda as well as tries to encourage purpose-driven and values-based work within the design community. Desinicism.com is a division of Blockaway Innovation and is a global parent and supporter of UNICEF, which strives to ensure health, education, and equality for children everywhere.